Peeps, I'm Cassandra Joy, and this is my spring morning routine. My mornings start around 8.30, 9 o'clock. I usually lay in bed far longer, scrolling through Instagram, which just sucks all the time out of the morning. I really need to get out of the habit, but what can you do? When I finally get out of bed, I turn on a light, I try to make my hair look somewhat decent, and pick out clothes for the day. It's been really warm here in Ohio, so sleeveless shirts have been my best friend, which I'm not complaining. This shirt was a thread up thrift, and I absolutely love the tropical print with the hot pink color. I always love my loft to smell beautiful, so lighting a candle is an absolute must. I am kind of a candle hoarder, <laughs> if you will, and I've been recently finding some really good ones at the dollar store of all places. They're really affordable and they smell great. On cloudy spring days like today, I love making my loft extra cozy and that means turning on all of my warm toned lights. This Edison bulb lamp is my favorite and I love any excuse to turn it on. Please excuse the milk carton on top of the trash can, clearly I need to take out the trash. <laughs> the first thing I do in the morning is make myself some cold brew coffee. My favorite brand right now is Stoke. They have a bittersweet flavor that I absolutely love. I do add some lactose free milk to it just to cut the flavor a little bit, make the coffee last a little longer. On cooler mornings, I'll skip the coffee altogether and go straight for a hot cup of tea. It just is the perfect pick-me-up either way, and I love starting my mornings out with something that isn't food. It's easy on my stomach and wakes me up. A few hours after having my coffee, I'll make something to eat for breakfast. Depending on how high my motivation is will depend on how complicated my breakfast is. Today I felt very little motivation, mostly because I was distracted by all the filming, so I decided on a piece of sourdough toast with sunflower butter and organic homegrown honey. When I do have the motivation for something a little more complicated, I like to go for scrambled eggs or chicken with avocado, something hearty, full of protein that will keep me full for a really long time. I usually spend my mornings either filming a YouTube video for my next upload day or researching a video for my next upload day. I like to kind of see what's popular currently and see if I can incorporate a piece of that into something that I'm filming. With things like vlogging, filming can start to feel really repetitive because it is your day to day life and that can get monotonous, that's just kind of how life works. So researching new ideas is super helpful. On days when I'm leaving the house, I love to get fixed up, do makeup, fix my hair, the whole thing. But on days where I'm staying at home, I like to make those days skincare days where I really take time and give my skin a little extra love, which it definitely needs today. I really love this marula oil by The Ordinary. It's helped my dry skin so much. My skin used to flake off and it was not cute, but since using this oil, it's really helped. I have more of a glow and I haven't had dry skin in forever. On days off, I really love to take my time with skincare, really massage it into the skin, make sure I apply it to my neck, make it as spa-like as possible. <laughs> I've tried a lot of moisturizers in my day, but this Benefit one has made the most difference. I don't know if it's the exact formula or if it just agrees with my skin more than other products, but I've seen such a huge difference and I don't go a single day without applying this. Around this point, I noticed that my nails were really dirty. I swear I wash my hands all the time, but when you garden and work with your hands a lot, your nails get dirty. So I decided to take a second and give my nails some love too. I completely understand how some women can take actual hours doing their skincare and just dolling themselves up. It's so therapeutic and relaxing. I could honestly do this for hours and not get bored. 
as it's spring, it's also allergy season and mine have been brutal. My eyes have been so sore and itchy and red all the time, so I took extra time on my eyes today with this eye cream. I don't have a particular favorite eye cream. I haven't found one that works any better than another, but I always try to remember my eyes because that's where wrinkles show up first. If I'm not doing a full face of makeup, I always try to incorporate mascara at least. If I don't have mascara on, I look half dead. It just wakes my eyes up. It makes me look alive. I don't know why that subtle difference makes all the difference, but it does. Speaking of getting dirt under my nails, it's now time to go check on my garden. Because it's been so hot outside, every morning I go out early and water them. Apparently it's really important to do this at the exact right time because if you do it in the heat of the day, your plants can actually burn. Fun fact, didn't know that. So I make sure to go in early every day or every other day to give my plants a good long drink of water. My strawberries have been doing so well. I've got at least three or four strawberries growing and I haven't picked them yet because I don't actually know what full size means when you grow them from scratch. I know what they look like at the grocery store, but that's very different from growing them in your own garden. So I've left them alone for now, but I think I'll pick them soon. My normal inclination will be to go on my phone or turn on my TV and watch a bunch of YouTube for a few hours, but instead of doing that, I've been really trying to break that habit and pick up a book instead of my phone. I have always made the excuse, I don't have time to read, but when I put my phone down, magically I have more time, so I've been really trying to make that a habit, especially in the morning before the day fully starts. And yes, that is in fact a chip clip I'm using as a bookmark. What? You don't do that? <laughs> in all seriousness, it really does work, but of course I picked a fancy looking one because no ordinary chip clip will do. I do have standards. I find it really interesting how much better I feel when I choose to read a book over scrolling through Instagram. My mind just feels better. There's no other way to really explain it. So I really do plan on keeping this as a routine where I put down my phone and pick up a book. And one way you can always tell that I'm sinking into a book is when I go to make a cozy cup of tea. No book reading is complete without tea. Little habits like these I find help me get my mind in a particular state, so if I want to write, coffee is the trigger, or going to a coffee shop, that ambiance, that buzz of background noise, the warm atmosphere just sets the mood and tells my brain, ooh, it's time to write. There's just something about sipping something hot and warming yourself from the inside out that just makes a morning feel slow and cozy and really sets the tone for the rest of the day. Hello loves! I hope you enjoyed this slightly different video. I watch people do their daily routines all the time and it's just so relaxing and calming and I'm always so curious to know what other people do with their days so I thought I would make my own morning routine video. This isn't what I do every day but it is typical of what I do on my days off. Filming days I work would be very complicated so I figured I would show you what I do on a day off. What I'd love is for you to comment down below and tell me what your morning routine is. Is it similar to mine or do you do something completely different with your days off? I would love to know. I think my tea is about done steeping so I will let you go. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Love you guys. Mwah. Bye!